Hey guys, welcome back to Dosa Maria again, and we have an updated version because you asked for it of dulces enchilados. This is actually the recipe that we used for our business if you want to make dulces enchilados. And we made gummy bears, peach rings, we made gummy worms, <laughs> and watermelon gummies. These are the ingredients we used. 10 pulparindos, 2 cups of chamoy, 12 teaspoons of tahine, and 1 cup of sugar. And the candy of choice. Um, yes. <laughs> so, the first thing you can do is set a pan on low heat and add your 10 pulparindos. And you're going to want to let those sit on the warmth <laughs> of your pan for like 1 to 2 minutes. They get super soft if you let them, don't stir them yet, but... As you can see, when they're soft, they're so much easier to manage. So, mm -hmm. you can do that and then just make sure that they're super soft so that you can mix and add your two cups of chamoy. Mmm, mm, look how red it is. Um, so you're just gonna stir that in. It'll take a while, so don't be impatient. And then you're gonna add your sugar. One cup of sugar. We use powdered sugar. Um, you can use regular granulated sugar but that's our for us it worked better powdered these are 12 teaspoons of tahine and you're gonna mix that well incorporate it you know uh -huh. so you're gonna put that in a little bowl and put it on the side you know go watch tv let it cool down for a little bit because you don't want it to melt your candy yeah. so make sure you don't waste anything scrape down the sides of your pan <laughs> Um, this is how ours turned out. You can use those little containers, containers. Um, or you can use baggies. But look how cute they look. Well, not and cute, delicious. but they look good. They yeah. do look cute and delicious. <laughs> they do. Uh, we sell these for $5. So if you're trying to start your little business, go for it. This is a perfect recipe. You can use as much or as little of the mix as you want. Our customers like it saucy. So <laughs> let's move on to the rim dip, guys. Ooh. Mm. 12 this time 12 pulparindos and you gotta add chamoy as well which was how many Maria? this one is a cup and a little bit over a cup so if you want to do a little squirt maybe a cup and an eighth of a cup and don't go forget for to it. scrape off everything from your pan <laughs> maria struggle look at that me i gave her my spatula like, here take mine she's like what do i do i had to put it on hers so anyway just it's, mix it's dosa maria she has to help yeah it's two of us to make this happen right yeah so there's maria super fast i'm adding just one half cup of sugar because you don't want it too sweet it's more of like thickness for consistency too. yeah and then you can add as much or as little tahine we use six teaspoons on this one yes teaspoons the little one and then you could either use um lucas <laughs> lucas or there's this uh mango powder it's called miguelito. miguelito yeah so it's basically i would suggest you stick with lucas um, any flavor that just adds a little kick Zing. to it. Mm -hmm. Zing ting. And Maria, scrape the sides of the pan, girl. <laughs> I got you since you missed it. Ah, oh, thanks, look at that. Thanks, Maria. And it's done, you guys. Look at that. Super thick. She thick boy. She a thick boy. Thick, thick girl. Boy. She a thick she can be girl. A thick boy too. Yes, yeah, she can. So here you have it, you guys. Our rim dip and candy mix recipe so we hope you guys enjoyed it if you do go out and sell make sure you tag us on instagram we love to see you guys start your little business and if anybody wants to order from us just dm us on instagram and we'll start shipping to whoever wants it we wanted to address some questions from our previous dulce enchilado video which the main one was are we high and to answer that <laughs> No, we're not high. This is naturally how we are, honestly. So we didn't know how to take it as a compliment or an insult, but that was really one of our top comments. Are you guys high? No, we're not. Sadly <laughs> for you guys, <laughs> we're not. Um, also, we people asked us where we got our ingredients, and we did get some at our Mexican store, the, one, the closest one we have around. 
So you guys can go and look up online closest Mexican candy store and they should have most of the ingredients that we showed you guys. There was also a concern of people saying all that sugar and yes, all this sugar is what makes us feel this way. <laughs> sugar high? Um, to answer that, you guys, it just depends on the way you see it. You're not going to eat all of that yourself yeah. in one sitting. So yeah. you're adding a little bit of that mix to your candy. You're already eating a lot of sugar, we understand, but if it's not meant for you to eat at all, unless you have no self-control, then I understand it could be a concern. Uh, I'm but. sorry for that. Uh, another question was, were we store it in the refrigerator or a dry cabinet? And I feel like that's personal choice because I enjoy it more refrigerated and I have heard some people say they prefer dry cabinet. So that's kind of up to you. They're the good either way. Yeah, and the mix will last uh, a, a bit because it's not a lot of ingredients that perish what's it called perishable ingredients mm -hmm. you guys understand right it yeah. won't go bad on you guys very quick so um either way works there's no specifics on that at least uh, we're not scientists so that's our take on it <laughs> our opinion thank you to everyone who blew up our last video and enjoyed our voiceover a lot of you guys told us that you had so much fun watching us so we can we hope to continue to bring a smile or you know a bring laughter. a laughter out of you guys so if you guys did enjoy this video don't forget to comment yes we love reading your comments and give it a thumbs up and also subscribe all right bye bye